On the 4th and 5th of July 2010, the English Riviera town of Torquay participated in a public art installation. It was part of a larger project which looked at how we can drive regeneration of seaside towns by using arts and cultural interventions. All set in the context of economic recession, the noise-making project also demonstrated a desire to build pride in the area and expand its reputation as an arts hotspot in the southwest of England. Originally conceived by Torbay Council and Ginkgo Projects, the piece was contracted to internationally recognised architectural firm OSA, the Office of Subversive Architecture. Torbay Council, through its project Torbay Connected, was in the midst of work on urban legibility, which looks at the ways in which people move from place to place and the perceptions of pedestrians as they navigate space. The noise-making project was intended to be a creative and quirky temporary installation, which would alter perceptions and cause people to see the site differently. Part of the goal was to stir up community dialogue, both positive and negative, about the site. Upon consultation, it was concluded that the harbour area was disconnected from Tor Abbey, a historical house and art gallery, one of the town's oldest buildings, which was once a monastery and mansion, dating from 1196. Having recently undergone substantial renovation, it needed to be reconnected with its own meadows and the seafront, as it is set back from the main seafront itself and obscured by trees and a pitch and putt golf course. The challenge? To build a walking connection to Tor Abbey, to startle people, to create some noise around the issues of access and public versus private space. OSA proposed a portal, or extension cloister, which audience members would walk through onto a long white carpet which reached all the way to Tor Abbey and its ancient Spanish barn, where the Summer of Arts exhibition was installed. This was a free exhibition and included work by local artists as well as Damien Hirst's controversial Mother and Child Divided. This carpet would cut directly across the Pitch and Putt golf course, through the fence and across the golf course's bunkers to reach the entrance to Tor Abbey. The local press picked up on the story and lit the noise-making fuse with a string of stories which questioned the budget in the current economic climate. The same week, the public sector in Britain had been threatened with a 25% cut over the next four years. A vigorous public debate followed. Clear outrage was expressed over the cost of a temporary artistic installation and the use of outside consultancy in the form of the architects. Reacting to the noise in the press, the project organisers, which included five performers from the University of Exeter, added a new layer to the project, which adjusted the installation's purpose to reflect the ongoing community debate. The event became more interactive. Kids with us, and oh, wow. um, I'm not sure whether the adults or the kids enjoyed it. <laughs> it was really fun. It was really fun. It's really great to be able to write, write on it. And the yeah. sensation of walking over the bumps was. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. yeah. it brilliant for children, and we noticed it. That was the thing. So we didn't know what it was. So we just wondered. We got it's got our curiosity going. <laughs> it was fun to draw on the path. Did you do lots of drawing? Excellent. And we quite like the things pointed out on the path, like the tree bit and the Excellent. sound and everything. Yeah, so good interactive. That's cool. Did you do lots of drawing as well? Yeah. Did you? What did you draw? That's yeah, we, there, was, there was one something under the tree that was, um, was a bit messy. Or something. Yeah, they're, they're all messy. But all in all, you think it was a good, good sort of experience, if anything. Really good, and it's, it's just something different. It gets people thinking, gets people talking. Even if people are saying negative things, at least it's making them think. Excellent. Thank you very much. Yeah, no, Thank we really you. Really enjoyed it. Awesome. Not quite sure. Not oh, this year. No, the, I'm more like keen on the cow, the barn, barn. <laughs> the Spanish <laughs> barn. <laughs> but inside the Torabio, really to see like people it. following it and interacting with it and it leading somewhere has been a real achievement and it's definitely quest a lot of questions in people's minds about how you access Tor Abbey and about the space that people are walking and driving and, and, and the space we have. I think it went well. Um, I'm really pleased with the entire um, 
interaction of all the people coming down, walking yeah. up and down. You can see how they're laid down and scribble something on the canvas, no, on the carpet we put down. So I think it's it's excellent that that uh, immediately you have another perception, you have another view onto onto the link of uh, yeah. Abbey and the coastline. It's important that we constantly try and um, question people's yeah. attitudes towards public yes. space and the, 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 the boundaries between private and public and uh, between recreational space, workspace and private space. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Fantastic. A brilliant way to enter such a, an unusual exhibition. And I thought it, it's thought provoking and exciting and sort of creates all of those emotions before you actually get to the exhibition. We absolutely love it. Think, do you think you would come back again sometime yeah. and do some more drawing or come back and have a look at the, the Abbey again? Yeah. Do you think so? Yeah. Excellent. Thank you very much. It's a lovely view as well. At the end, it turned out to be the right answer to the question which was yes. asked. Thanks for that. Thank you very much. For the 48 hours of its installation, the white carpet became an enormous community dialogue wall. Audience members began their journey at the cloister, where recorded monk chanting and narratives of the history of the site were played. As they walked along the carpet towards the abbey, they were given marker pens and posed questions, asked their opinion, asked for their memories, invited to trace their footsteps, lie down and leave the imprint of their body, have a dialogue with each other about hopes and wishes for the site. The white carpet was inscribed by hundreds of people who attended the extended cloister, and the resulting consultation and artwork drawn on the carpet will become a permanent. The closer structure on the seafront is now being reinvented by local artists and young people from Torbay Area Youth Centres. The debate continues.